I don't know. I don't know what you got or what you didn't get then. Crap. But I'm just making the pommel bit now, so I'm hope I'll, I'll find out and I'll try and put it all together. So, but anyway, we're making the pommel now. The shaping the pommel. I think I'm going to use this one. Not very practical. <laughs> uh, right, so now I need some sandpaper. Turn this around to do the same on the other side. Okay. Now we have the parts. And that's going to go at the base there. Um, I'll, I'll show you properly in a moment. I just hope I got the rest of that uh, process because it's, it's taken me about... Oh, it's taken me far too long to make that one piece. So this goes inside here. It seems to have just fitted in. Mmm, very nice. Give it a So that's the pommel, and that goes in there. It's not exactly what you wanted. 
I haven't got the he, he wanted the pole to be wider than this this is actually the widest metal I have uh, but it's pretty damn close so I'm, I am very happy with that so all that's left to do is drill a hole through here and then rivet the uh, and then screw in the pole so I'll just get you lined up again there we go Right, there we go. Put this in place here. Whoa, there we go. Then we need to tap the hole. Nice and easy, keeping the keeping as close to possible equal pressure on both of these as I turn, and we're through. So now all he does is put a locking nut in there, and that locking nut holds it all in place. And I'll just give it a quick sand. Get files to. <laughs> no, yeah, just made it this way. And there we are. If you give me one second, I'm just going to get a locking nut. Okay, so we have a locking nut. Oops. This goes in here. And we're done. Very happy. And there we have one custom Shoto hilt for Jim at Fulcrum in the Force. As close as I can possibly get it to his design. I think it's turned out pretty well. I'm quite happy. I'm very happy with that. Not quite, I'm very happy. Get a little bit of a rough up because it's going to get weathered soon. Got, yeah, just from this is why I was just from doing that one bit of sanding. I'm now covered in crap. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there we are. A Shoto part three, all done, all dusted. I hope you like this. I hope it gave you a bit of an insight to how and how these things are done and how they're made and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very nice Shoto. Um, it's actually going to be, it, it most probably cost quite a bit because just this metal alone is actually very expensive to buy and we've used a lot of it but yeah I'm I'm very happy with that, very happy, it's damn close to what he wanted as a design. So let me bob you back onto me, oh and take off those ear defenders, it gets very warm with the ear defenders on. Oh. So, yeah, there we are. That's uh, the three-part uh, epi uh, three episode. That's, that's three videos of how to, or how I've made uh, this Shoto. Um, really, really happy with it. I've got to install a button, which I think I'm actually going to do at the back just here. Um, I think that'll be a good place to put it. So it's just out of the way of electronics, but also... Could turn it on and off at the back, which would be pretty good. Um, I might actually ask him to see if he's got any thoughts uh, on that particular aspect. But yeah, we've got the lovely D-ring here at the back, so he can easily clip it on to uh, any clothing. Uh, he's got the locking up there, which holds the pommel in place. Got a wide, very large 
inner diameter on the pommel so it'll allow lots of sound to blast out of there without any any restrictions but yeah really happy really really happy hope you like it don't forget i am going to do another video my i've just bought a brand new camcorder uh, which will hopefully be here in a few days once that's here i am going to then do my obi-wan kenobi uh hilt i have there's a couple of hilts i have wanted to do ever since i started doing four sabers one of them is the count dooku but i don't know if i'll ever be able to do it uh because it has two bends in it so that was one the other one i wanted to do was the star killer um which i have done many times uh, it's not one i sell it is hugely monstrous monstrously it just takes a hell of a lot of time and a lot of work to do more so than any of the lights they will have uh but also another one was the obi-wan kenobi oh it's not going to be one from the movie it's not going to be exactly identical to that it's going to be one of my own style and my design it will look very very similar to it so if someone to see you in uh, around and you had that on you they go oh wow that's an obi-wan kenobi lightsaber hill and be like yeah pretty much yeah basically is so it is going to be pretty good um looking forward to doing that can't wait uh like i said that should be up maybe another two three weeks after this video so um thank you for watching and please subscribe tell your friends about the channel um i don't think there's any other saber company quite like myself i know there's no one else quite like me um but yeah i'll hopefully bring out more things to you so uh stay tuned get subscribed and i'll see you in the next video